I have kind of a love-hate relationship when it comes to NATO straps. Um, I love the comfort, I love the way they look mostly, um, but I just really don't like the added bulk that they add to watches and a lot of times that extra little tuck on the side of the wrist or on the side of the watch just kind of annoys me. Um, I, I prefer kind of a, a cleaner, slimmer look on the wrist and that is why one of my favorite NATO strap uh, manufacturers out there is Luff watch straps. They, they do a lot of NATOs. They've done a great job designing NATO style straps um, that have a much more streamlined look and that kind of um, hide that extra bulk of the extra strap in, in unique ways. So they just sent me in another batch of straps to review, so I'm excited to check those out. And in addition to the sort of nylon style straps, I've got a nice leather strap and a pretty cool Tropic rubber strap as well. So we're gonna throw those on some watches, see how they look and see how they feel and let you know what I think about them. All right, let's take a look. You may have noticed the paid promotions flag at the beginning of this video. That's because these straps were provided to me for free by Luff Watch Straps. I do get to keep them after the review is done. However, other than the straps themselves, I did not receive any compensation for this review, nor did Luff have any input into the content of the review. All right, so I have six straps from Luff. I have six watches. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna pair these up. We'll see how they look, see what kind of, kind of cool new makeover we can give these watches with these straps which I'll show you in just a second. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the first one that they've got here. This is what they call uh, their new Shelby NATO strap. And it has a very interesting weave to the, uh, to the nylon. They're using two different color threads in there, and it gives it kind of this rough diamond shape. Um, it's very comfortable, uh, feels very soft. It just has a really interesting texture. Uh, you're also getting premium hardware with these kind of angular or curved uh, keepers here, and then a very nice solid buckle as well. This one runs $25, and the part of it that allows you to uh, adjust the straps so that you can keep the... and the part that allows you to uh, adjust where the extra strap is going to be is this floating keeper here. Now, floating keeper is something that you're seeing more and more on premium NATOs. It's a really nice feature, but most of the time you see this keeper to be the movable one. And so that will allow you to, if this one, so if this one is movable, that allows you to take the end of the strap and just have it go right up to the edge of the keeper. But if you change it and make this one the movable one, you get some interesting options, which I'll show you right now. Let's go ahead and pair this one up. And the first watch I'm going to uh, pair this up is a new one. This is an upcoming micro brand uh, release that should be coming in a month or two. This is the Thacker Morale uh, sports watch. And I'll be doing a full review of that uh, coming soon. This is a fairly large watch. To me, it reminds me a lot of like a pilot style watch, and I think it wears pretty well uh, on a NATO strap as well. So there's how it looks, and let's go ahead and put it on wrist so you can see how the strap system works. All right, so so far you're into the kind of standard NATO territory, but so this is where this keeper here, this is the one that is floating and can be moved around. So one option is to just simply move this up and use it as a keeper to hold the strap kind of snug around your wrist. So you can have it like that, and that's one option. Um, you can also do it as a standard NATO and just kind of tuck it under right there and get a little bit of the extra strap on the side of your wrist like you normally would have on a NATO. But what this is really designed to allow you to do is to move all of this to the bottom side of your wrist. So you can see you get a very nice clean tuck. You get everything wrapped nicely down there so that when you look at the watch from the top to check the time, uh, you get a much cleaner look to it. So you don't see this extra strap sticking up around here. It's moved down lower and gives you a slimmer, cleaner look, which I really like. So because of that, these are some of my favorite NATO straps out there. Uh, this new Shelby one comes in at $25, so definitely in the premium end, uh, but it's a very comfortable, very unique weave. Really cool looking one. Now for $20, you can go back and get their standard seatbelt NATO. This one is a very thick, very smooth, shiny, glossy finish. Um, you know, kind of your typical seatbelt, but, but a very premium feel to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pair it up with this Hemel HFT20, which is a really cool pilot style chronograph with a 12 hour GMT bezel. 
and this is one of my favorite chronographs out there. It comes stock on a leather strap. But when you swap it over to a NATO, I think it looks great as well, uh, especially with this seatbelt NATO kind of bond pattern. And there you can see it again with the extra strap tucked down under the wrist. Really clean, smooth look. I think it matches great with this watch. This particular strap is going to be a part of a future giveaway. So um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a bunch of stuff as soon as the post office begins functioning normally again after the coronavirus pandemic. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when that giveaway comes. This will be one of the many things that is going to be part of that giveaway. Okay, now moving on to the next style of strap. So these they call their nautical adjust straps. This is a nylon single pass strap and the whole design of it reminds me actually a lot of a purlon strap. It's very similar in the way that the buckle works. Um, this is a very nice ladder style buckle, very well built. And what this buckle allows you to do is adjust the length of the strap. So you can feed it into this buckle system. Basically the strap will come, you know, if you want to make it shorter, this underside will move and you'll have a kind of a double layer down there. Uh, and that allows you to get a perfect size for the strap to customize to your wrist. Um, you know, in, in theory it allows for kind of even adjustability in between holes as an option, uh, but more likely what you would use this for would be to get it so that the end of the strap doesn't uh, come too far up on your wrist. So here I'm pairing it up with the Citizen Nighthawk, uh, which has very tight lugs. So on the thicker seatbelt style straps, uh, it, you know, it, NATO straps, this doesn't work, but on this nautical adjust is a pretty thin material. And so you can get a pretty good fit there. It's got a really cool weave to it, a little bit of a gloss, and yeah, I, I like this kind of plain green color, but the, the weave definitely makes it a little bit more interesting. And with this buckle system, it wears very sleekly on the wrist. Again, you're not getting a bunch of extra strap bunched up on the side of your wrist like you would on a NATO. And this one, because you can adjust it, so I've got it adjusted so that the strap comes just to the edge of the keeper on my wrist when I got it tightened up the way I want it. Um, so that's where that adjustability comes in. Really smooth, nice fabric that they've used. This one you can pick up for $20. You can also get these nautical adjust ones with black hardware. So I got that specifically to pair up with this Laco Casablanca. So you got a great match there. Uh, and I think the colors really match well. Um, I like this kind of contrasting stripe down the middle. Gives it a really cool look. The only problem is on this one, I don't know if it's because of that, you know, contrast weave there, uh, the holes have not held up as well. So you can see there's some fraying on the holes, and I've only been wearing this one for about a week or so, so that's a little bit concerning. Um, this particular one might be a quality control issue that I would imagine Luff would uh, replace it if this happened this soon after you bought it. But I have not had that problem on the green one. On the green one, the holes have been holding up just fine. Okay, so that'll move us past the nylon straps. Um, they also sent over two new straps that they've been working on. Um, let's go with this one first because this is the more interesting of the two. This is a full grain Epsom leather strap. And now these typically run pretty expensive. Uh, but you can get them from left for about $41, which is a pretty good price for the quality of leather that you're getting. Um, you know, full grain leather with the Epsom, this Epsom leather, um, they give you kind of a coating over it, uh, which is used in a lot of high-end leather materials. Uh, the coating should make it a little bit more durable, scratch resistant, and water resistant. And yet this is still full grain, so that pattern on there is the actual grain of the leather. It hasn't been added artificially. Uh, this one is a taupe color, so it's kind of a brownish gray. It's a really interesting color. Um, again, premium hardware all the way around. And this one is branded High Noon instead of Luff, so I don't know if that's like a side brand they've got for this particular strap or what. Um, I believe this one is made in France, or at least the leather is, apparently. But it is among the highest quality leather straps that I have tested, so this is a really nice strap and definitely I think worth it for the $40 that they're asking. 
Now it is a premium strap, so it's the kind of thing you'd want to pair up with a watch that might be a little bit special in your collection. In this case, I think it looks great with the Bull of a Lunar Pilot. I think that's a great pairing there. Uh, the taupe color is kind of an interesting one. It will, will match, I think, a pretty wide range of watches. It's got a nice taper to it as well. If I'm measuring right, you're going from 20 millimeters at the lugs all the way down to 16 at the buckle. So pretty sharp taper to it. And on the wrist, very comfortable, elegant look. Really nice leather strap. All right, last one, they've started doing FMK rubber straps, and they have two options. You can either get a Tropic, Tropic rubber strap or a waffle rubber. Um, I had them send over one of the Tropic ones to try out. Um, yeah, just a, a great Tropic rubber strap all the way around. The rubber is very soft, uh, very supple, uh, zero break in time. It's gonna be comfortable right away. Uh, nice glossy finish to it. It's not gonna attract dust. And just, yeah, just classic vintage Tropic rubber strap. Hardware is solid, signed with the Luff logo, so that's nice to see too. And finally, let's pair it up with a watch. So here it is paired up with Orient's new dive watch. This is one of their newest ones. It's kind of like a slightly slimmed down, scaled down version of the Triton, if you guys are familiar with that one. Uh, this one hasn't become widely popular in the US market yet, but I think you're gonna start seeing more of it pretty soon. Be doing a full review uh, not too long from now. but. Uh, I think it pairs very well with this Tropic rubber, rubber strap. And the Tropic or Waffle rubber, they come in both of them right at $30, which I think is a very fair price for what you're getting here. So if you're looking for a high quality, either Tropic or Waffle rubber strap, uh, definitely one to check out, especially if you are also interested in some of the other ones. It's great to have a selection there and you know getting to grab this one as well. Uh, I think it's a really good option. So it's kind of cool to see Luff expanding their range a bit. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you guys think, what your favorite pairing was. And yeah, thanks for checking this out. I'll put a link down to Luff uh, down below in the description if you're interested in getting some straps from them. Well, make sure to subscribe so that you can get in on the giveaway for this strap when I get around to it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure when that giveaway will happen, but hopefully soon. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.